Hey, someone wrote me this morning and asked uh, if there was a way to programmatically copy a uh, an image to your clipboard. So I just did a little Googling and found um, using the GDIP library, I thought I could use the WIA, which is the Windows Image Acquisition Library, but um, it doesn't seem like there's a way to do that, at least not for shoving it into your clipboard. You know, so I use the GDIP library. Um, I found a post. So first off, make sure you have the GDIP library. Mine's named GDIP underscore all, but um, if you find online, I think it's, was it Tick? I think wrote the original one, uh, but just make sure you have that in your library. If it's in your library, you don't actually have to include it, but um, I'm doing it here. And uh, so you wanna have that in there. And then I went and found, you can find this post, which I'll, I'll put in the links or it's in here in the code when you go look at it. Um, this is where I grabbed, um, a bunch of this code from so somebody and I forget who it was um, let's let's take a look at that so we get this right um, doo -doo -doo. again you know it's always better to, to borrow than to, to create this in, in my eyes um, so Sean so this is a this was a user who he's made amazing stuff over the years unfortunately he's not active um, recently but um, so I this is where I borrowed his his set clipboard data function um, and then he he demonstrated it here. I added a little bit to this because um, I wanted to use, and I used the notify function, which I've featured before. Um, I'll try to include a link to that as well. So um, I built my own little function. I wrapped everything. Uh, I, I took his code, but then I wrapped it with a little bit of using the notify function. So here we have the path to the file, right? Um, so this would be a static path, or maybe you highlight it where you can, uh, let's see if you had the path, uh, on Explorer, you could highlight that and hit the button and it would read the Explorer path to the file, shove it in the clipboard if that's the route you want to go. Um, that would save you from double clicking, opening it, copying it, and you know then being able to paste it. That just depends how you're going to use it, right? That's the great thing about AutoHotKey. And here, we're just going to shove that path into this um, function. There's, if it's set to zero, I'm going to save this and reload it. Now when I run it, it doesn't look like anything happened, right? Even though, let me, let me first, let me copy this. So right now, the word reloads on my clipboard. Now I'm gonna hit my hotkey, and now when I hit paste, um, here is this image. Just so I can zoom out some. That was that is that file, right? This is my my son and I getting ready for Mother's Day. Um, and so that's cool. But you know what? It's it to me. I don't like to. I guess once you trust something, it's nice. But I like having little notifications. So let me go ahead and not that it matters. I'll delete this. But I've built this in here where if I put it to a one save it, reload it. Now when I run it, watch the bottom right corner of my screen. So it says image on clipboard, right? And then of course you can change whatever you want. This is where I'm writing that. So that will just show you, hey, you know what? Now it's there, now you can go hit paste. And of course I can still hit paste here and, and there it is. Uh, but if you put a two, this is the one I I like and I don't like. Um, the problem is, you know, watch when I do it. So it shoves the image in there, but it doesn't allow you, even though there are settings in this notify function, for um, controlling the size of the image, they, they, they're for whatever reason not working. And um, it to me, is just not that important. So I'm not gonna dig into it and figure out why it's not working. But it would be cool if I could have limited that in the size. So at least I could have a quick glimpse of like, oh, hey, that's the image I wanted. Great, it's on the clipboard, you know, go ahead. Um, but again, the beauty is I wrapped this all in a function. So you can easily change it, zero, one, two, um, and you know, have it customized to what you want. We could have used like a tool tip here or a message box. I, I probably would have used a tool tip if I wasn't going to use that notify function. But because that notify functions in my library, I use it a lot and I just love leveraging functions that are already in my library. Um, if you're not using libraries, get on them. Um, I have a couple of videos on using functions and using a library and, and a, it's an amazing uh, functionality, excuse the pun, uh, to be able to use. So hope that helps and uh, hang in there. Cheers.